Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and in this quick tip, I want to talk about the uh, Stitch and Sew tool and uh, Flip Normals. Um, so let's get go straight into it then. Okay, first of all, what am I talking about when I'm talking about normals? For those of you who know, good for you. Uh, those of you who don't, I'm just going to go over it very, very quickly. So I've just created a sphere. I'm going to change my display to ground shading, actually, so we can actually have a good look at it. And I'm going to make this editable by having it selected and hitting C. So this is an editable object now. And if I go into polygon mode and press Control A, we can see that um, the surface of this has turned yellow. So that's when you select polygons on the surface. They're, sorry, orange. Um, this means that the normals are facing outwards, so in the correct direction. In fact, we can actually um, show this. If we go to Options, Configure, and then here we've got a checkbox for polygon normals. Check that on. Puts these little sticks in the middles of every in, in the middle of every polygon, and it shows the direction the normal is facing. And as we can see in this case, they're facing out, which is correct. So we can turn this off and. Um, if I right click now and say reverse normals, we can see they've turned blue. And that's because this is the back face of the polygon normal. Now, if we actually go inside the sphere, you can see that the inside of it is now orange, whereas the outside is blue. Whereas before, it was the other way around. Now, we, don't, we wouldn't want an object like this. We want the normals to be facing out. And we can show why if I uh, right click on our sphere, go to Cinema 4D Tags, go to Display, and turn on this here, back face culling. So this is typically what you'd get in a game engine if your normals are facing the wrong way. You'd be able to, to see through the back face of the object and then see the normal facing uh, normals inside. So that's a big no-no, basically. So let's get rid of our sphere. And so how does, how does this pertain to uh, the stitch and sew tool? So if I create a tube, like so, and um, go into object mode and just alter this slightly, just so it's easier to work with. In fact, I'll shrink this down, actually. Not like that. Uh, is it that? Oh, it's this one. I'll get there in the end. Um, <clears throat> so let's make this editable. Um, and if I select all of its polys, you can see that they're all facing out the same way. Uh, so I'm just going to UL for loop selection, select all these polys on top and delete them. So let's say there's a scenario where you built this. You didn't use the ring like me. You built this yourself from a couple of cylinders or something like that. And uh, all your polys are faced correctly like this. And you want to bridge the gap between this outer edge and the inner edge. So uh, let's go into... Um, let's unselect all these normals. Go into edge mode. What I typically do is um, I choose both my edges. So UL for loop mode. Choose this edge. Shift click the other edge. So I've got both selected. And if I choose my stitch and sew tool now, now I can use it. Now, if you're not familiar with the way stitch and sew works, um, if you just left mouse click from one edge to the other, it will bring that edge to to the other edge so this first edge here to this edge boom like that if you ho hold control while you do it it will look for an average distance uh, it will go in the middle of both those edges so they'll both come to meet each other in a central place uh, but if you hold shift and um, uh, drag to the other edge boom it bridges the gap that's probably what you're going to be doing but if we go to the um, polygons now and press control a well, in that case things are things are normal so uh, let me have a look let's go back into loop mode sorry about this guys there we go okay so we're back to where we were so if I I selected this inner edge first and then this outer edge and then I went to my stitch and sew tool and then dragged from this outer edge to the inner edge everything looks great and then when we select everything oh dear what is going on? Uh, you know, everything's great apart from the polygons we've just created. Um, they're flipped. And you probably, if you've got a complex model and you've been using Stitch and Sew to, you know, bridge gaps and that all over the place, and then you, you know, you notice you've got some shading errors or something else like that, and then you control A on the polys, and you're like, what the hell? What, why is this happening? 
and it's because order matters. Okay, so when we go into a UL in edge mode, uh, let's get rid of that selection first. Um, so UL on the edge. If I select this inner um, loop first, and then select this outer, so shift click on the outer, that's the order that the stitch and sew tool expects you to be doing that in. So if I go to stitch and sew now, and drag this edge here, because we selected the inner edge first and then the outer. So if we drag from the inner edge, holding shift to the outer, and then go to polygon mode and press control A, everything's great. So the order in which you do this really, really matters. So let's get it wrong again. Let's go back to this and uh, get it back to so we've got no selection. So I'm gonna go UL and I'm gonna select the inner first and then shift click the outer. But when I go to my stitch and sew tool, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it backwards. I'm gonna go from the outer ring, holding shift to the inner. And then when we go to the polygon tool, our normals are flipped. So it's just a little tip guys, if you're using the stitch and sew tool to, um, you know, uh, bridge loops together or anything like that, make sure that you um, stitch and sew the, um, uh, in the order that you selected those loops in. The other alternative is to just right click and say align normals, and it should make them face all the right, uh, all the uh, same way. Sometimes it will make them face all the blue way and then you can just reverse normals and it will flip all of them. Okay, so that's uh, that's my little quick tip. All right, guys, uh, that's about it. Don't forget to check out digitalmeet.uk. Um, follow me on social media. There's links in the uh, description. And you can also get um, Patreon-exclusive content by joining my Patreon. There'll be a link on screen at the end of this video. All right, guys, see you later. Bye. <laughs>